I just got this Cobra 29 LTD Classic CB radio and I want to put it into my Kenworth T680. It's a 2019 model. So stick around and, and see how I get this done. And you might learn something or you might tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> let's, see, let's see if I can get this done right. Okay, so welcome to the joy of trucking. I'm Kevin. I'm a solo OTR driver for Werner. And this is a company truck. But I got my own CB radio and I'm going to put it in here and if I ever switch trucks, I'll have to take it out and take it with me. So i really like to know how to do this. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it, uh, the company will put it in at a service shop at one of their terminals. So don't feel like you have to. If you want one of these radios, uh, you don't have to do the work yourself. So if you're interested in getting one of these, by the way, you could click the link below and buy it that way. And we'll get a little something back for that. And that helps us with the channel. Okay. Maybe we'll buy a nice shiny new camera and a microphone and make a better video next time. Anyhow, uh, here's the Kenworth T680 setup. They they already have the antennas on the mirrors, so two antennas, really good. It's all wired in, even the power and uh, speaker and uh, all the plugins and everything. And they even put this nice tray here that fits your CB radio. It's fantastic. It's good thinking on their part. So that, that saves you having to pull wires through the roof and take half the panels off and stuff like that all right so what we got to do we got these wires coming out of here for the power we got the wire here for the antenna and we got this wire for the speakers so you can hear the cb all that stuff i think i'll i'll connect these right at the end before i actually slide it in what i could do first is take this power supply cord and attach it to these really cool terminals that Kenworth supplies you with. So here I got a bare wire and there's a little hole right there. I can stick it in there and then pinch that thing closed over top of it and I'll have that connection. Uh, I think I'd like to strip that wire a little more though. I want more wire there. Give me my trusty tool. I don't have my wire strippers with me. Give that a little cut. Now, chip a tooth. I used to know an electrician who would chew on these these little covers. Like he'd strip a wire and then chew on the piece of plastic. Don't do that at home, kids. You wound up getting mercury poisoning. Oop, one more. Right there. Watch that. It's a sharp one. Alright, now we got some wire to work with here. I like that better. Twist your wires. Make sure you get the colors right. One is red, one is black. Don't get that wrong. Put that wire in there and I'm going to twist it around. So we got a good connection. And then close this nut up real tight so it doesn't come out. Same with the black wire. Good connection there, and what they do is give what they do is give you the wires here, and they're labeled. This one goes to the red. I'm gonna take this nut off of here.
Don't lose the nut. Don't drop the nut. Don't drop the nut. Don't drop the nut. Get the nut back on. Spin her in there. And always make sure you use the correct tool for the job. The exact size wrench for tightening this here nut. That's pretty good. Take off this nut. And this one is labeled for the black wire, yep. Don't lose the nut. Just on that. Put it on there. Spin it on. We got a protective cover here too. That's real nice. I don't think it's gonna fit well. Tighten it up. Don't want that coming loose. connections to the actual radio. I don't like all this wire hanging loose like this. So once it's installed, now oh, look, inline fuse. Wonderful. Extra protection. I have here a leftover twist tie. I'll try and keep that bundle neat inside the truck. So I've got wires lying around loose, especially power wires. Someone could hit that and short it out. Next step, put the radio in our handy dandy Kenworth tray, and the radio fits exactly. How nice is that? Do you suppose all CB radios are exactly the same size? So Kenworth only has to make one tray? All right, now we got the speaker connection here. They're not giving me a lot of wire here. I hope I don't break anything. There we go. Speaker goes here. And the other outlet there is actually for your PA system. You get a switch you can hit on this thing and use a PA speaker. Make sure we got that set up right there. That goes in there. So we got our power connection. And last is the Antenna connection. Put that nice and snug. Put the whole thing back in here. Pinching any wires, tuck it all back in. flap here. Make sure you don't hit that and the thing pops out. And last is the microphone. Microphone plugs in here. See there's a little there's a little notch right there at the top. That should correspond with a notch in the plug-in area. And push it in. Turn the nut to secure it. That was easier than hanging a bracket from the roof and running wires all up there. So here's your microphone. Kenworth supplies you with a little, a little holder right there. You got enough <laughs> wire on that thing to reach back into the sleeper. There you go. So you're driving along and you just grab it like that. Let's uh, let's try some power. Let's see what happens. Here's your volume. I would 
imagine that turns it on. Fuse is good. <laughs> Fuse is good. Is it still good? The wires are good. Is it still good? Oh, yeah. Just double check you it. It won't break. thing I can think is there's no power to this the power wire because everything else is there it's connected it's plugged in securely Maybe I wonder the if there's a fuse outside. yeah if there's a fuse in the truck you have to put it It's not even lighting up, right? No power. Because this would light up if you had power. Hey, let me check fuses. CB R seven ten M. Seven down there, next to the bus relay. Can I have my pliers?
change a fuse that's burnt like that, you gotta ask yourself why it burnt in the first place. Something wrong? Is there a bad connection somewhere? Something over the circuit? It's usually a short, like a crossed wire, exposed wire. Something got wet. So before I put all that back on, let's give this one a shot here. Make sure this is off. So we'll start with full power. Fixed it and installed it. I believe 19 is the call channel. You get 40 channels, right? But uh, everybody uses 19, and then if you want to have a conversation with somebody, you say, let's switch over to another channel. The volume, there's your meter showing your output. Squelch kind of eliminates a lot of the static. It also eliminates the sound if you put too much. Right there. I don't know what to say. I gotta read the instructions, see what the rest of them do. But let's give it a shot. Breaker 1-9. Breaker 1-9, just for a radio check. Anybody come on back? Breaker 1-9, this is the Wiener Wagon. I'm just looking for a radio check. How am I coming in? Do you see how, how the meter moves when you talk? So that's your power output. Now, if somebody's listening to you, the meter will move to show how strong you're being received. So what, what I'm asking for is to see if somebody is receiving me and how strong my signal is. And if they, if they come back and say, we're reading you five by five, or we're reading you loud and clear, or whatever, that means the radio is actually working. I'm talking and I'm listening. So nobody's answering. Everybody's probably asleep. So we'll have to try that again some other time. And meanwhile, I gotta put my tools away and uh, read the instructions. I strongly recommend reading the instructions and even better do that first before you install this piece of electronic, highly sensitive equipment. All right, we got it all in. Our neighbor over there has a CB. Asked him if he could... All right, can you hear me? Hot right, damn, I can hear you. Welcome out there, buddy. All right, well, thank you so much for your help. I'm, I'm glad to know I installed it right. <laughs> Ain't nothing to do. Read the instructions and get it in. That's what I'll do next. I'll read the instructions to see if I did it right. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right, we're out. That's terrific. Are you excited? I'm totally excited. I know you're awesome. gonna you're gonna be yakking on that oh thing every God. day now. Kevin, you're a real trucker. <laughs> that was go. so nice of him. Now I need a handle. Yeah, you do. Go go go. Thank that nice oh, gentleman. That is so awesome. <laughs> Well, that was fun. I'm sure glad our neighbor helped us out with that. I was starting to think I'd done something wrong here. I didn't have it set up right. But he flicked all the switches and turned all the dials. And and then uh, he, he went over and, and turned his on. And the first thing he said is, can you hear me? So I answered, yes, I can hear you. And that's great. So now I know I got it right. It takes a load off my mind. So I hope you got something from this. Installation's over. Thank you very much for watching. And this is specific to the Kenworth T680 from 2019. You're probably going to see something different in your truck if it's not this exact year and model. Uh, here we are with the Cobra 29 LTD Classic. And if you want to get one, check out this link below. And if you use the link, I'd really appreciate it. I can't wait to see uh, how this helps us down the road. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun listening to it. My wife's going to make a lot of new friends out there on the road with this radio. So give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and put your comments down below. <laughs> All right. See you down the road. Bye-bye. Well now, Kevin. Yes, ma'am. You just got your first CB radio warning from another driver. Warning about a, yeah. a vehicle stopped in the lane here. He told me to get in the left lane before I get to that bridge because there's a car crapped out up ahead. That was
really awesome. Yeah, that's how it works. That's that's incredible. Yeah, we just installed it yesterday, and uh, that was amazing. So yeah. thank you, Swift Driver. That was very nice of you. He was coming from the bridge, so he had seen it and uh, called the what did he call it? Werner wagon. Uh, he said <laughs> that a Werner truck had just made the left turn. So I knew he was talking about me. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. And he said, it's a good thing to have a CB because then you get tips like this. I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, I just put the radio in yesterday. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah, there it is. Very, very cool.